Welcome back, my lovelies. I missed you so, so, so much. I haven't been here in YouTube in a while, and life has been just so crazy. But I am back, and like the title says, this video it's going to be all about highlight and contour. So I am excited because if you follow my um page for a while if you follow me for a while you know that i'm not big on contour i like to bronze but contour not so much so this is really excited i am so happy to do this video and i hope that you guys like it please follow me on my social media all of the makeup looks by lily j if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do down here give me a thumbs up if you like this video leave me a comment and again subscribe to my channel hit up right here right here all you have to do and you will be part of this big family anyways I love you guys so much thanks for watching and I will see you guys on my next video Mwah. okay so let's begin now I already have my foundation on so my face is already prepped and I am using this Tarte Shape Tape. Oh my god you guys I absolutely love this concealer. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Now um, the first thing we're gonna do is just place it under our eyes. Just start normal like regular you should be um, used to do this process if you have been following me for a while so nothing new same process um, to highlight I like to place the bridge on my nose a little bit on my forehead pretty much the center of the face so under our eyes our forehead the bridge of our nose Cupid's bow and the chin. And as you can see, I was rocking some music. I mean, I was on a row. <laughs> I don't remember what I was listening to, but must have been fun. <laughs> now with a damn beauty blender, I am going to blend all that product. And don't you guys hate, I had, I didn't show this on camera, but I forgot to wet my beauty blender. So I had to get up, go downstairs, and wet my blender, my beauty blender. Don't you guys hate whenever that happens? So is it just me? Look how cute that finish is. I mean, ugh. I love this concealer you guys now setting my concealer I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna press down and I am baking um, so I am going to leave this powder on for a little while because I do want to bake um, just so that it's more highlight. Whenever I want to set it, I'll just set it and clean the, the powder right away. But since we are highlighting today, I am going to let it bake for a little bit. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I do uh, like to put uh, some powder on the side of my nose. Um, that's just going to help me get... Um, the illusion of a thinner nose since we're gonna contour as well now if you know me and you've been following me you know I never use cream um, contour I always always contour with just the powder so this is my first time actually trying a cream contour contour cream um, yeah cream contour sorry <laughs> so um i actually liked it um i'm still deciding if it's gonna be something that i'll do more often but i definitely liked the experience
and using a real technique brush I'm going to blend all that contour that we just did. One thing that I did notice is that this cream contour is really easy to blend so I, I like that. continue to rock some jams I really don't remember what I was listening to but it seems like I was really into it Can you guys see the difference that contour makes? Now the reason we contour is to shape our face. Um, since I have a really round face, I like to do that um, sometimes. Just because, um, I mean, it helps. It helps look your, it, it gives the illusion of a thinner face. So I like the fact that we can do this with makeup. And remember you know makeup is you can't have fun you just have to have fun with makeup if it doesn't come out the way you want it then so bit you can clean it up and restart again or just you know use it as an experience don't stress over it hon if you don't at first you don't succeed just keep trying I'm still learning how to do contour, so I'm not an expert, but I did want to do this video to share with you what I do and how I do it. If it helps you, great. If you don't want to use this technique, you're more than welcome to not use it. Not everyone uh, works the same way, so yeah. Now using a flat brush, um, I'm going to put some translucent powder right under the contour just, just so that I can um, be a little more precise and define that contour just a little more. And I'm also going to put just a little more on the side of my nose just so that it sharpens that nose a little bit more. And now I'm just gonna set the contour of the nose. I'm gonna set it with a powder and I believe I used the Hula bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics. You guys, I love this bronzer. So now that we've finished that, I'm gonna clean all the powder and all the excess powder that I have all over the face so we're gonna clean that up and you guys I love how it looked like I know that it's it seems harsh for some reason on the light but I promise you it didn't on on person so I really really like how this contour came out and now to highlight the highest points of my cheek, I am using 
the Anastasia Beverly Hill uh, palette, the collaboration with Nicole Guerrero, and oh my god, look how blinding this highlight is! I am in love with this highlighter. Now to set everything I'm using, Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 uh, uh, setting spray. It smells like coconut. It's delicious. I love it. And right away I go and use a little, whatever you have in hand, I, I'll use a little uh, fan or anything just to throw some air in my face just so that it dries faster and it looks amazing so this is gonna be the final look you guys I hope that you guys like it please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment below if there's anything else that you would like to see let me know if these tips work with you and other than that I will see you guys on the next one love you guys